Hey, this is Noah Sanders with Redeeming the Dirt here at Aurora Valley Farms. I wanted to take a minute today to show you how I collected some water today from a new well that we dug, or that we had dug, in order to take a water sample to send it off to get it tested so we can see whether we have good enough drinking water here. So the issue with this is that we do not have a pump yet in this well because we're trying to decide if it's really good water we may try to run a lot of the farm off of it if it is a uh, iron water like we have in our other well thankfully this one is the water came up within 40 feet of the surface so we're just going to install a hand pump on it either way we're going to install a hand pump but what we're trying to determine is whether or not it's good enough water to install an electric pump as well so trying to get a water sample out of here uh, when the there's no pump the issue is how to get it out so what we have today is a can here it's a tin can uh, that I put some wire on and I've connected it to this string here on this reel and because of this pipe here if we drop it just right down in the can might have a tendency to float so I've put the wire at an angle here so that the can will go in on the side and then we'll try to collect some water that way. So key is with your well, you want to keep it very sterile. We've had problems with iron bacteria in our other water. So in this well in particular, trying to keep these things very clean and not get a lot of junk or other stuff down in the well. So here we go. I'm going to let it down into the well. You can hear it going down. And I uh, just heard, heard it hit the water there. So I'm going to pick it up and drop it. And as it fills with more water, it gets heavier. And then eventually you can feel it. There we go. It's sunk, so that means it's completely full. Now I'm going to reel it up here. You want to make sure that you have a nice strong string so that you don't accidentally drop your sample can down in your well. That would not be fun to try to retrieve. Here we go. As you can see, we have our nice water sample here. And what I did with this, it took several uh, collections from the well but we took it in the house earlier and rinsed out a water bottle really well with the water from the well here and then we filled it up and labeled it and we're taking it off to the lab down at the local university to get it tested and we'll pray lord willing that we'll get some iron free water here for our farm so that we don't have as much issue with iron, we're praying that this is more of a spring-fed source rather than deep rock source. So we'll see how it is, but we'll go ahead and pray. Lord, I just pray that this water would be good and free of iron and that you would allow us to use the water from this well to bring glory to you, to provide water for our families and for our animals and for our plants. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks so much. Have a great day.